Hey guys, how's it going? Marsbox here. Welcome to the final episode of the second season of the Legion United Career Mode. We've got a big game to start off with. The game against Southampton away at St. Mary's. Have you, as you look at the table, they're sixth. We're eighth. Liverpool in between us. They've had a game played already. The table disappears. That's fucking awesome. They are sixth. We are equal on games. If we can beat them, we go higher than them. Everton, we go higher than them. We're trying to finish sick. It's the best position that we can finish in. We have finished so much higher than what I thought we would. I thought we were going to be battling to get in the top 10. But now, we're here in contention to finish in the top 6. That may or may not mean Europe. It's just crazy. But we will see how we go. Let's go. Look at this, man. Again, we've got just enough on goal difference as well. So if they were to tie and we weren't to get the right result on the final day, we're still ahead of them at least. Such a big game. One of the biggest games of the season. But let's go. Come on. Should also mention as well that this is the last chance, the last two chances, should I say. Oh, and Bentaleb, you haven't done well for yourself there. Of getting a man of the match and potentially, maybe, getting yourself a J-Bucks medal. That's what it's all about when it's all said and done, isn't it? I mean, forget about finishing sixth. You want to win that J-Bucks medal. And the spacing is a bit concerning because we're not getting a lot of it. But now we see... Now, nah, see, now that's the problem. Come on, I'm, I'm forced to do shit like that and I don't really want to. Zardes now. What a pass. What a freaking pass. What a touch! The shot's hit the post! Oh, so close. So many chances. We've got Berardi on the ball now. We've got... Stiv uh, no, Bentaleb. Bentaleb in a... Okay, I'll try to go for Sarko there. We've got to get it forward, otherwise we might get called for time. Zardes is there. Niang, he's in. And Zardes again. One more. Is there a foul? That is a foul. Good spot for it. Is Sarko going to be able to bend it up and around this wall, though? I'm going to try. I'm going to try. He's got it. Yes! We've got it. Sarko! Thank you, son. And we're 1-0 up right on halftime. It took me a while to realize that this guy doesn't just blast him from 30 yards. He can also stick it up and over a wall. On the counter again now, Niang. Oh, yep. Oh, that's a brilliant move, but he still gets tackled. Oh, there's a defense. There's a defensive mistake. Oh, they've given it away. Space in the middle. Zardes to run. Lobbed over the top. Brilliant one. Hits it. Heads it. Scores it. Zardes is a goal. Yes. That's breathing space. Put on the pressure. Came up with a turnover. Brilliant little lob through ball in for Zardes who heads it and gets it past the keeper. Oh, and it looks like there was a follow through there. Look, the two uh, colliding heads. Bang. He's hit him square in the face. A little insult to injury. Insult to injury. Injury that he gave him when he fucking cracked his skull open. Great work, Zardes. He heads it already. I already knew that he was going to win that battle. I already congratulated him for it before he even did it. Now Niang's there. He's going to have to beat uh, Gyarados. Oh, what a move. Brilliant. But then he overdoes it. They're getting their hand held all the way down the end of this fucking game now. I don't think that they can win it from this point either way, even if we let them. But they will. they'll fucking try. You know they will. Niang. Zardes. Niang. Oh my god, Sarko. Go, please. You've got to finish that. You actually have to. I will never forgive you. You fucking cocked it up. I could have I could have tried a finesse, but I wasn't confident. They go all the way back. They get the goal kick. They are done. The game is done. It's over. We've won 2-0. We've taken sixth spot with a game left. Silvestri, again, was okay. Made some good saves, but he only made a very minimal amount. He made four or five. That's about it. As a matter of fact, five. That's all he made. He normally can make like 10 saves and, and still get... He can has a, he can at times make about 8 or 9, 10 saves in the game. So 5 for him is actually quite standard. But still, that's still a good performance from him. Sarko was great. Scored a fantastic free kick. Had some brilliant, brilliant, brilliant passing displays as well and really set up a lot. But Zardes again, I'm telling you guys, he's come back. I've slated him. He went to shit. And now he's absolutely come out of nowhere. He's had a look at himself in the mirror. And he said, what the fuck am I doing? And I'm not growing in overall. But I don't care. I'm getting man of the matches now. Yes, he's got the man of the match after this game. And he looks set right now. And a big, big break until our final game of the season. And it is against... QPR, who surely are not going that great. Surely this has got to be a relatively easy game to send off our season at home. Away, it's at Loftus. Let's have a look at the table. Chelsea have won. It is impossible. They have won a long, long, a long, long time ago. Arsenal, they will finish second unless Manchester City win by at least two or more, and Arsenal lose by at least two or more in their next game, which seems unlikely, so they'll probably finish second. Manchester City, Manchester United, and Everton all battling for the third position as well. Leeds, we might finish sixth. There's a, it's actually really, really close between Liverpool, Southampton, and us. Only a matter of points. Liverpool do have a higher goal difference than us, so we need to absolutely make sure that we finish sixth. 
by winning the game against QPR, who are 15th. QPR, who fucking are this close to getting relegated, I don't think it will happen. Aston Villa, West Brom, and Watford both need to win their games, or Watford at least needs to get a draw, and QPR needs to lose. It's it's actually possible. It is actually mathematically possible. So this will be the final game of our season. We can finish either 6th, we can either finish 7th, or we can either finish 8th. I don't know about you, but I want to finish 6th. I want to maybe qualify for Europe. I'm still unclear. I know that top 6 could get you Europe. It doesn't always get you Europe. It uh, depends on cup competitions and stuff like that. But let's see how we go. Just win the game. That's all we got to do. Let's see how we finish. Let's see where we finish. I reckon no matter what, this has been a great season. A fantastic season. Southampton, if we lose and they draw, obviously we'll finish above them. And there's still many, 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 many different circumstances and ways that the season could finish. But we just need to put in a good performance. That's all we need to worry about. And it is a fucking bright-ass day. I don't know what is going on there, but it's just so luminant. I don't know what the word is. But here is the QPR team that we'll be facing. Brian Murphy. Now, this guy... I know, I think he's glitched in career mode. He's probably going to be a freak. I'm just calling it now. A lot of other great players in there. Leroy Fur, I like Charlie Austin as well. I'm having a wee bit of difficulty maybe telling apart some of the players. Hopefully that's not going to be too big an issue. It's just so goddamn bright and sunny. And ugh. But let's just play the final game of the season. Interesting throw. Interesting passing around the back. Zardes has got it. I switched players. Why did I fucking do that? We, oh man, that would, that would have been Zardes on, on for the goal. But he's gotten it back again. Oh, he's just a snake. Unbelievable. Big hard tackle on Zardes. He's down! No fucking way. Nah, that, no chance. Won't ta nah, won't have that. Won't take that. QPR have got a free kick right on half time. They'll whip it in. Anyone marking, please just get rid. Yep. All right, good. We had plenty of numbers around that ball. All right. That's half time. Not a lot of chances. Not a lot of great chances. It's a nah, game really to see off the season, to be completely honest. And it's just weird, weird, weird lighting. I just don't get this lighting. We've got two defenders on yellow cards, and my striker, Zardes, is running around injured at the moment. You can't, it doesn't really look like it, but he definitely went down, and he was hurt. Zardes has got it. Niang has got it. Everyone's got it. Niang's going to put some moves on. Try to pick out Zardes. He's going to try something. Oh, it's saved, but it's tapped in. Oh, poor Zardes. That would have been a great goal. I've been trying to score goals like that with him. He's capable, but he can't just pull it off. It gets saved by the keeper. But guess who taps it in? Sarko, who has been outstanding today. Look at that. Bang. He got some, he got some effort on it, but Murphy's just a freak. Look at Zardes go past. He's just... Oh, I'm fucking... I'm absolutely... I don't know what the word is. Nah, stop it. Oh! It's taken a deflection! Niang with the goal! It's actually going to count as Niang goal. Okay, I reckon it was fucking more likely to have been an own goal because the shot wasn't even on target, surely. If it was, it was right at the keeper. I'll tell you what it is. It's 2-0 with 20 minutes to go. And let's just keep on pummeling them. I want a good, good win. Oh, shit. I'm not paying attention. I honestly thought that was one of my own plays right there. God damn, I hate these kids. Now we're in the shadow. I can actually see the players a little bit better. The cross comes. The header is at the back. Stop it. Oh, what a save. What a fucking save. How? What a save. Sylvester. Stop it. You're a freak. Nah, fuck Murphy. You are the freak on this pitch. Fucking Sylvester. Unbelievable. Oh, two of my plays have gone down. Bloody hell. That no, that's, that's a terrible clearance. Okay, we get a body in front. Stop it. Tackle. Come on. Shit. Look at that. They've still missed. Cross is there. Select the man. Saved again. Well done, Sylvester. I see someone uh, slipping away there. That's Zardes. Space. No. What about on the right-hand side? You bet. Great ball. Niang, take a nice touch. And take a nice hit. And score! How have we scored that? That is right down the middle. Niang gets a second goal. And that is the most... Every single one of Niang's goals shouldn't have probably been goals. Look at this. Touch is good. Hit. Come on. That's right at him. It's hit his fucking elbow. Every single goal that he has scored has been some form of deflection. This is going to be a brilliant end to our season. It is going to end 3-0. We are going to beat QPR 3-0 away for the final game of the Premier League season. We are going to finish sixth. We will find out at some point whether or not we're playing in Europe, but we'll find yeah, but we'll find that out later. Brilliant performances from everyone on the pitch. I loved it. Silvestri pulled off one of the saves, if not the save of the season. Unbelievable. What a freak. Look at this goal in real time. Are you fucking kidding me? How? I just cannot do this save any justice. In slow motion, it still looks impeccable. Here, this is it in real time. Look at this angle. What a save. And in my excitement, honestly, 
I will say, I forgot to look at the ratings, but I am going to give man of the match in that game to Sarko. He scored one goal, the first goal. Niang got two, yes, but they were very lucky. Rebound deflection goals. And even though he played great, Zardes played great, Silvestri played great, Sarko was terrific, and I'm going to give it to him. And look at this, Zardes is going to finish second, just below Costa on 22 goals in the BPL. And now, all we have to do is advance and wait for uh, a lot of things to do, really, in terms of contracts, contracts expiring, fees due for load players. But let's see how much money we get for finishing sixth in the BPL. 12 million. That is so much money, but that is probably, I'll be totally honest, that's heaps, but I'll be very interested to see if that's actually going to even be enough to sign all three of these players. I'm not even kidding. Some of these players will have grown to levels that, you know, they're going to have to be paid 70, God forbid, 100 grand on wages now. This, yeah, this will get, we'll find out, won't we? Yeah, see, look at this. Alessio Romagnoli needs 35. He didn't really grow though, but I still might sign him. I need to think about him. I also still need to think about Serge Gnabry. He was a great right midfield replacement for Stevanovic, just to throw in there every now and again. But again, might not, I might have to think about him. Of all three of these guys, Niang is the one that I most want to get, and he's the most expensive wage-wise. He's 70 grand. Serge Gnabry is 60 grand. So I'm going to accordingly adjust the wage budget and the transfer budget, because 70 grand for Niang, 60 grand for for Nabry and 35 grand for Romagnoli. That's basically $165,000 that we need in wage. And that leaves us with, after getting to that point, 7 million. I don't know. Actually, we might, that might just be enough. First off, we'll do it in accordance or in the order of the players that I want the most. I want Niang the most, that's for sure. So we'll submit that offer. Yep, that's fine. Out of Serge Nabry and Romagnoli, it's a hard decision, but I've got a lot of right wingers and right mids and I don't have a lot of great young center backs. So I'm going to go for Romagnoli. Four years, 35 grand, submit. And finally, Serge Nabry. If we can get him, we will, but it's all coming down to if we have the cash Four grand, 60, uh, 60 grand, four years. Ro Magnoli has declined because he wants to be persuaded. What a bitch. Then we have Serge Nabry, and then we have Niang accepting. Niang, I'm going to say yes for immediately. He's worth 4.4 mil, but we're only going to pay 1.8 to get him. That's great. And if I would accept this, that leaves us with plenty of cash to get Ro Magnoli if we really want to. So I'm just going to sign him as well because he is also a bit of a, look at that, just under a million that we're going to pay for him. He's worth just under 3 million. J-Bucks, fucking wheeling and dealing in career mode. We'll go up in intervals of five grand. If we get to 50, I'm still probably going to have to consider, but 20% four years, 45 grand. What's it going to be? He's still declined. Are you kidding me? Are you actually fucking kidding me? You want 50 grand, mate. 50 grand, mate. I'm not really even banking off you. I, I'm paying 2 million for you. You're worth 2.5 million. That's nothing. That's really nothing. 50 grand, 20%, four years. If he says no to that, then fuck it. If he says yes to that, I'm still going to have to think about it. He's declined. All right? Fuck him. He's done. He hasn't grown at all in this season. I really wanted to keep him because I thought he might still be useful. But nah, fuck him. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to move. Then he doesn't want to move. We've got Dominic Vickers and Jamie Pidgeley, whatever. A few of those have picked, uh, a few of those guys have found me some great players. But now we're going to send them away again to different countries. Let's see who we should send them to. I'm thinking probably one of the obvious ones in Germany there for about six months. All right, that's fine. Yep, okay. And Jamie Pidgeley. Do we want to send him somewhere crazy or do we want to send him somewhere not crazy? I don't know. Where do we go? Let's go outside of Europe for a bit. Should we try Brazil? We've already got someone to pair up with Adrian. Let's go for Argentina. Argentina looking pretty good. All right, Germany and Argentina, the, the two finalists in the World Cup, look, we'll go with them. I'm going to go pretty crazy here and buy another scout and just use basically the rest of the transfer budget that we have and buy another scout. So, yeah, we'll see how, we see if we can buy anyone for about $4 million. Hi, scout, what have we got in this week? And no one, we can't afford him. All right, fine. Okay, cool, let's submit one more week. Just skip because it refreshes every single week and stop. What about this time? Oh, here we go. We got uh, Matt... Pidget, Matt Pidget, whatever. Yep, sure, that's fine. Four-star experience, three-star judgment. Experience normally gets you more. Judgment sort of gets you better ones, but I just want more the merrier. So Matt, well done. Well, you're, you're in. And that will just about do it. I'm not actually going to send him away now. I'm not actually going to do something which is a little bit OCD of me, but I'm going to wait until the 10th, which is when I send away my other two scouts, and then I'm going to send him away to another country but to actually start scouting. So that way, I'm getting all my reports on the 10th. That's when I know I'm going to get all my reports. Call me crazy, but that's what I'm going to do. Just to keep it organized, you know what I mean? I can't be blamed for being organized. I should mention, 
that the league's player of the year has gone to Leeds United Silvestri. Wow. So the player of the year for the BPL has gone to our goalkeeper. Surely that means he's hot favourites to take out the J-Bucks medal. So here is the squad report for the end of the season. Look at Marco Silvestri. He grew by four, one last overall point right at the end of the season. He finishes with 19 clean sheets from 48 appearances. My God. And he finishes with the most clean sheets in the Premier League as well. Berardi hasn't grown. Liam Moore grew by three. That's terrific to see. Tyus Branding by five. Stop it. But his form's bad. That's ridiculous. Graham Shinney by two. Savanovic by three. We've got Nabil Bentaleb by one. Uh, Sarko by three is great. Renato Steffen by one is not great. Niang. Wish uh, he could have grown more, but still one there. Zardes finally grew by an overall point right at the end of the season. Thank God. At least he grew by one. We've got Moat by one, McGregor by two, Romagnoli by none. And obviously, I'm probably not going to end up signing him. Uh, we've got Solly March by three. We've got Serge Nabry by one. We've got Scott Watton by one. Frederick Goldbranson did not grow at all. Probably going to look to get rid of him, even though... Look at that. Goals and assists in so little games. It's not bad. Dukara only played four games, but grew by one, which is good. Sam Byram grew by one. Longo grew by one. Zalalim by one, who's unhappy, unfortunately. Jack Grealish, I sent away on a loan, and he just, this kid won't grow. It's quite disappointing. To be fair, though, I sent him away on loan. He played one fucking game. I can't blame him. Christian Ceballos played 11 games and grew by one, which is okay. Adrian played 26 games, got two goals, two assists, and only grew by one. That's concerning. Kasper Sloth made one appearance, grew by one. That's good. Luke Murphy's going to go away, but he... Grew by one. Belushi's the same. Scott Taylor the same. Dan Benedictic sent him away on loan. He didn't play any games at all. Lewis Cook grew by two. Played four games for Southampton. And Liam Cooper, 24 years of age, grew by the one. So we have made it to season three, June the 30th. There's only one day to go until the transfer window opens. And we get our striker, Alexander Cocker, in. So, yeah, we'll see how he turns out as well. But until the next episode and the start of Season 3, guys, I'll leave it with you. Uh, don't forget that, of course, before we start Season 3, there is one more video that we need to do, and that is, of course, the J-Bucks medal ceremony night for Season 2. Come on, who's going to win it, guys? Will it be Zardes? Will it be Silvestri? There's many other great players. Is Adrian going to hold his title? Will Sarko step in the mix? Still plenty of great players. Anyone can win it. Until then, guys, my name's Mars Bucks. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to drop a like if you haven't already, and subscribe as well. That'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.